वेलकम बैक गाइज दिस इज द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ दिस प्ले लिस्ट एंड वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट वीडियोज फॉर दिस प्ले लिस्ट एंड इन द लास्ट वीडियो फ्यू रिमेंबर वी कवर्ड द इम्पॉर्टेंस और द फंक्शनैलिटीज ऑफ धन ए पी आई वी हैव सीन वॉट आर द फीचर पार्टनर्स एंड हाउ टू गेट द एक्सेस टोकन ऑफ धन ए पी आई इन दिस वीडियो वी विल गो थ्रू द एंटायर ए पी आई डॉक्यूमेंटेशन ऑफ धन ए पी आई एंड Uh, in the end, we'll make a basic test of how to use this API. The next video will cover about the Python library that will be used to automate your trades, right? So let's start with this one. If you search Dhan API Python, um, there's a first link which is of pypi dot org. Just click on that, which will open this particular window. <clears throat> It's very well uh, described. how to use this api but still i'll go through each and every part if you are new to python uh, let me just tell you in order to install any library we have to use pip functionality so we'll use pip install dhan hq right we'll definitely do it in the next video but yeah, i'm just giving uh, an idea and these are the functions that we'll be talking about in the next video this video is covered about the documentation so i'll just click on this particular button which is dhan hq api documentation which will open this window which this is the entire in depth uh, information of dhan api and on the left hand side you can see different things like orders right portfolio edis funds statements um historical data and etc and so on right so if i click on the orders uh, button then you can see there are two segments which is test api and the python one uh, let's focus on the python side as of now because this playlist is very much focused on the python segmentation if you are if you don't use python library then you'll have to go through the rest uh, documentation as well uh, for that you'll have to go through the post put get and all this functionality right i'll come uh, to the uh, rest api later uh, while testing the apis right which is the last part of this particular video uh, if we click on the python ribbon you'll see these are the different inputs that needs to be provided right in the python code that we'll be writing things like place order modify order cancel order right all these different types of things and for these things we have different inputs like transaction type is it a buy or is it a sell if it's a buy it's dhan dot buy right if it's a sell it's dhan dot sell and so on then the exchange segment it's nse bse Uh, it's uh, uh, what's the uh, product type what's uh, uh, is, is it an intra trade or intra uh, day trade or it's a delivery trade or options for example so we'll have to mention it here then the order type market order limit order etc validity security id um, quantity which is the number of stocks that you would like to trade um, then other things as well uh, some booleans like uh, after market order which is which would be either true or false and so on right so these are the different uh, things that uh, needs to be provided while triggering the order api uh, uh, of this particular segment right if i just go to say portfolio right so we can uh, retrieve the holdings in the portfolio information using this particular uh, functionality and again if you click on python ribbon you'll see like we'll just need to uh, trigger this particular api there's no input required here just need to uh i would say run this particular cell and then you'll get the portfolio information if you go to say statements again we'll have to go through uh these particular things and the most important thing is historical data uh which is actually used to extract the ohlc which is open high low close historical data uh on a daily candle or on a one minute time inter- uh, time frame um and uh, <clears throat> in order to do this thing we'll have to run this particular line which is dhan dot historical minute charts and then you'll have to input uh the data uh, which will be uh, which i'll tell you in some time right so this is the particular this is the entire function that needs to be uh, provided in the python code that we'll be making dhan dot historical minute charts what are the inputs symbol right in this case it is mentioned tcs it can be infos says it can be hcl etc um exchange segment i've already told you about that it's nse eq in this case um instrument type is equity uh, expiry code because it's uh, 
it's a spot order there's no expiry in order uh, like if it were uh, options or futures order then we'll have to put expiry here as well so it's zero in this case what is the historical data time range that needs to be extracted so from date to date right um, this is a very very important uh, functionality or this is a very important function that we are going to use extensively in the future videos as well and this particular function can be used to make trading bots as well that we'll cover in future right uh, so let's uh, um, just test this api right um, which is uh, just go to the URL which is mentioned in the description box which is api.dhan.co and over there you can just uh, uh, check on the right hand side on what are the request uh, I would say the, the inputs that needs to be provided for different segments right so for example in order to placing the order you'll have to use the post request uh, if you're using the Python library you don't need to do this but yeah just to test what are what are the different inputs that needs to be provided if you provide all these inputs here and then send the API request it will execute that particular uh, API and if it's a place uh, place an order uh, trigger then it will place an order from here itself this is exactly the thing that uh, will be using in the Python code as well uh, if we do say get fund limit detail right so let me just do it for you right so i'll just click on this send api request you can see uh, 200 okay api response 200 means that we are we are successfully running this api and what's the api what's the fund limit details in this case uh, in this case i have close to 1000 rupees uh, in this particular account and other details are also in front of you right down below <coughs> you can see the request sample and then this drop down right you can click on this particular uh, button and you'll see all I would say different types of libraries that people use uh, in the in this industry I use Python extensively but if you use say C hash or uh, node or for example any other uh, languages you'll ju just have to click on that particular thing and then click on so for example I'll click on Python 3 and you'll see the Python code that can be used in the Python uh, code that we'll be writing and we can use this particular uh, segment as well. You just need to copy and paste it from here, right? If I just go to the Python uh, uh, ribbon and then click on the request side, you can use the requests library and put it on the Python code and use it. But anyways, if you are using the Python library, I'll come back to this one, which is pip install uh, uh, hq. This is the Python library that we'll be using in future. All these things are uh, uh, already inside this library. You just need to use this basic functions and all these things will be done automatically in the back end. So this is all about the second video of this playlist. In the next video, as I already mentioned, I'll be writing the entire Python code in order to place some buy and sell triggers. I'll be using the same Python library. You should just go through it. And in the next video, we'll talk about each and everything about how to use this particular Python library in place real time orders. Thank you so much for watching this video. We'll see you in the next video. Investments in the securities market are subject to market risk. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.